Uh, Speaker Shane, on uh, <clears throat> March 14th, uh, the Speaker and I were in uh, Istanbul uh, together. Uh, attending a very important uh, forum, World Political Forum, convened by Prime Minister Erdogan, and um, we focused on the rapid change that is taking place in the world today, technologically, socially, we can't keep up with all the advances. And it was my uh, uh, privilege to uh, address this forum on shared values. And basically what I said, it's true that we are going through many, many changes, political, economic, technological, but there are certain core values that we share that are transmitted from civilization through civilization. And what are those core values that we share? Every man and woman yearns to be free. It's a core value. Because God has given us the freedom of choice. We don't want to be slaves. And this is why a core value is also democracy. And this is what we share. America, the United States, and Turkey. A value for freedom, value for living, coexisting together in peace and harmony. And if you visit Istanbul, it's a uh, really a bridge between civilizations. And that is really the challenge for all of us in this technological age. Yes, we need to change ourselves. We have to live with change, but we have to adhere and hold on to values that have been dictated to us by the Ten Commandments, whether it is the Torah, the Quran, or the Bible. Family, love, friendship, justice, and peace. So I want to salute, it's not my first appearance, uh, at this friendship dinner. You've come a long way, and just as uh, uh, Istanbul is a bridge, Governments can sign agreements. The President of the United States and the Prime Minister can enter into all kinds of agreements with the approval of Parliament and, and Congress. But it will not stick unless there is a people-to-people -people foundation. And that's where you come in, the Turkish Center. The Turkish Cultural Center and the Council of Turkish American Associations. Each one of us can contribute to that relationship. It's not only a, 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 an agreement signed between heads of state, it's the people-to-people -people contact. And this is where the religious communities of both Turkey and the United States can play a very significant role. I was very, very happy to share the platform at the forum uh, with the uh, leader of the uh, Muslim community, religious authority, the new one, Gopas, uh, the chief rabbi, uh, but also Haleva, and the ecumenical patriarch Bartholomeus. Vatican was represented. We need to learn how to coexist. I also want to conclude by uh, telling the Turkish uh, community in New York how lucky you are. You have, we have been blessed with a wonderful consul general. Uh, let's give him a great big hand, Sanzar. And also, Ambassador, you serve in Washington, D.C., and there's no jurisdictional conflict, but 
You have a good name and a good reputation already in your short tenure in Washington. Congratulations, Mr. Ambassador. And last but not least, you selected a very worthy guest of honor. I had the privilege again of visiting uh, with him uh, at the headquarters of Zeman. And if you really want to enjoy it, I mean, New York Times has good competition. Zeman is a very, very fine paper. And uh, I had the privilege of uh, spending some time uh, at his offices. You picked well. Ekrem uh, Dumanli has vision, has wisdom. And may you go from strength to strength in the work you have done. And finally, since I am also a Chacham, not only a president of the uh, Interfaith, Interreligious Foundation, you know, uh, you've heard about the clash of civilizations. Well, it was Pr uh, Prime Minister Erdogan and uh, Prime Minister Zapatero of Spain who came up with the idea of an alliance of civilization, and I was appointed by the Secretary General to be a member of that high-level group. I totally reject the idea of a clash of civilizations. And I speak to you as a Holocaust survivor who has seen the best in man and the worst in man. I've seen goodness, I've seen kindness, I've seen evil, but I've also learned, having lived through World War II and Holocaust, Historically, every conflict comes to an end. 100-year war, 30-year war, World War I, World War II, Korean War, Vietnam War, you name it. Every war comes to an end. What you and I have to do, and what leaders have to do, is to hasten the process so that not too many lives are shed and healing and reconciliation takes place. And in a world that is so interconnected, let us go back to the Bible. You know what the rainbow stands for? There was a civilization that was destroyed because of evil. And then God said to Noah, if you want to make sure that another civilization would not be destroyed, I'm going to give you the symbol, the rainbow. And if you ever look at the rainbow, you see seven distinct colors. You can discern the red and the green, distinct colors. And what does it say? It says to us, we may have different cultural backgrounds. We may have different ethnic backgrounds. We may have different religious backgrounds. And we should be proud of it. And we can be proud of it in the United States where you can have more than one identity. You can be a proud American and a proud of your Turkish heritage. You can be a proud Jew and be proud of your American citizenship. But the idea, the challenge is, if we want to avoid any clash of civilization like the rainbow, well, you and I, we have to learn how to coexist and to share those values that have sustained mankind throughout the ages. So God bless you for all your efforts, and may you go forward, and may you continue making a great contribution that this Turkish community has already made in this land of immigrants and land of freedom and opportunity. God bless you all, and thank you for